Stability AI is continuing their absolute tear of releasing product after product after product, starting with the stable LM release, and then they released uh, image upscaling, and then Deep Void, which is text to images, but includes actual readable text, which a lot of models can't do. Then they released Stable Vicuña. Then they released the Stable Animation SDK, which is a text to animation tool for developers. And now they released Stable Studio which is a completely open source version of their Dream Studio product. Let's take a look. So here's the tweet announcement about it. Introducing Stable Studio, the open source release of Dream Studio, marking a new chapter in our imaging pipeline. So the important news here is that this is a completely open source version of Dream Studio. And Dream Studio is essentially a mid-journey competitor, except it actually has an interface, which I really like. A bunch of videos ago, I made a video about uh, Leonardo.ai, which is a mid-journey competitor, except it has a user interface. Of course, mid-journey, Leonardo, they're all built on Stable Diffusion. And now we have Stable Studio, which is a locally hosted, fully open source version of an interface that you can use with Stable Diffusion. Here's the blog post about it. Let's read a little bit. Announcing Stable Diffusion, an open source release of our premier text to image consumer application, Dream Studio. Stable Studio marks a fresh chapter for our imaging pipeline and showcases stable abilities, dedication to advancing open source development within the AI ec ecosystem. I really appreciate that. They are releasing open source products left and right. So here are some examples. We're gonna also test it out and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Millions of images have been created by its users. Now again, Mid Journey, Leonardo, these are all based on Stable Diffusion's open source technology. And they go on to talk a lot about how important open source is. And I could not agree more. I am glad they're continuing to open source their products and contribute to the open source community. And here's something I thought was important. Although Dream Studio will remain Stability's hosted Stable Studio implementation, we aim to foster a project which can outpace anything developed by a single company. And that's really the distinguishing factor of open source. Once it's out there, so many different people are gonna pick it up, extend it, iterate on it much more quickly than a single organization could. And that was the whole premise of Google's we have no moat leaked document. These smaller models are able to be iterated on in a much quicker way by thousands or hundreds of thousands of engineers rather than just a core set or a handful of engineers inside a company that may be hampered by or slowed down by internal bureaucracy and uh, legal considerations. All of those are thrown out the window and really anybody with uh, you know a decent computer can build on top of this now. And they also say they're gonna be releasing an upcoming chat interface within Stable Studio, which I think is awesome. Now at the end here is something really interesting from enabling local first development to experimenting with a new plugin system. So I think that's gonna be awesome. Uh, engineers, engineering uh, companies are gonna be able to release their own plugins, their own extensions, easily integrated into the Stable Studio environment. And here they're even requesting uh, support from external developers. So here they want help with local inference with web GPU, local inference through Stable Diffusion web UI, a desktop installation like, you know, GPT for all is dead simple now, just double click on an icon and you have it installed, which I love. Uh, control net tools and anything else that you wanna see, you can drop it here in the issues. So with that, let's take a look at what's possible. This is the interface. And the first thing to note is it's still powered by Stable Diffusion and their hosted version. So you actually need to go sign up for Dream Studio, get an API key and input it. And you are limited by the number of credits. It is free, but again, you're limited. Now you can definitely buy more credits, but I think it's gonna be extremely interesting when they allow anybody to plug into this, which of course, if it's open source, they're allowing that. And you can use maybe a local GPU or possibly even a CPU, even though it's probably gonna take a long time. Maybe other cloud services will be able to compete and prices will come down significantly. That's always the hope with open source. So let's take a look at a few examples. Snowy winter wonderland with a lone cabin in the distance surrounded by frosty trees and fresh snowfall. So the interface is very similar to Leonardo.ai. I always appreciate an interface uh, as opposed to using it through Discord. Sorry, Midjourney. Even though Midjourney currently has the best quality images, uh, it's always easier to use an interface. And you can tell right here, it's on localhost, so I'm running this locally. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to get this set up in a minute. So for every prompt, it can output four images. You can also do more, up to 10. I'm gonna keep it at four. The more images you use, the higher quality you use, uh, the more credits you're gonna be using. And you can also adjust the scale. So I'm gonna keep it at one to one. 
It has negative prompting, prompting, and you can even have different styles. Okay, so let's try anime. And I'm going to keep it as panda eating bamboo. I'll hit dream. And while that's going, I'm gonna show you some other ones. Snowy winter wonderland with a lone cabin in the distance surrounded by frosty trees and snowfall. And this one, I used a previous image as the seed and I actually just asked it for cheesecake. So that was a little mistake, but I thought it was a funny outcome. There's some cheesecake in the mid middle of a winter wonderland. There's another one. And then here are some actual cheesecake images. So these look incredibly real. Maybe this one's a little blurry. This one looks really good. You can get into the fine grain detail of the cake itself. This one looks really good. The glossy syrup that's here. Then the lemon right here. And here's another one of a panda eating bamboo. Uh, doesn't look very real. It's kind of cartoonish. The eyes look uh, eerily human-like. And here's a few more examples. So decent, of course, not near the quality of Mid Journey. And here are some awesome examples, panda eating bamboo, but in anime style. I think the eyes need a little work though. This one is very cute. Yeah, very cool. So another thing you could do is edit the images. Um, so I already started doing that here. This is also called Canvas in Leonardo. I don't believe you can do this with Mid Journey, but you can extend any image. So I can come here and if I were to hit Dream again, it would basically take what the image shows right now and extend it into that part of the uh, screen real estate. And of course you can edit the image, you can set as initial in the image, which is like seeding, you can download the image or delete the images. And if I go into settings, it's very basic right now, a few links to some relevant places. It tells me how to set up the API key and then where I input it at the bottom here. And so now let me show you how to install it. So here's their GitHub page. It has a ton of information. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it though. The first thing you're gonna do is highlight this Git clone. You can also find this link at the top right under this code, green button, and hit this copy button. But for now, I just need that. I'm gonna open up terminal. I'm gonna open up terminal, I'm on my desktop and I'm just gonna hit copy paste, git clone and then the GitHub repository, hit enter. There, it clones it to the desktop. Now I'm gonna change directory into stable studio. And now I'm in that folder. Next, I'm gonna type yarn which basically does all the installations for me. This is much easier than a lot of local model installations that I've done tutorials for in the past. Okay, done, took 43 seconds. And next we're gonna spin up the server with yarn dev. So yarn dev, enter, there it is. We grab this local host URL, paste it in our browser, hit enter, and now we're at localhost colon 3000, and it loads up, and that's it. Interesting, I deleted the previous folder, yet it still has uh, all of the images. Uh, so it must be storing it somewhere else on my computer. And quickly, this is Dream Studio, the hosted version, and it looks almost identical to Stable Studio. The way that you get your API key is in the top right, after signing up, click this button, and then the API key can be found right here. And if you don't already have it, you just click Create API Key, and it creates another one for you, and you can copy it then that is what you put. So I'm going back, this is the local version, Stable Studio. That is what you're gonna be putting right down here at the bottom. And that's it, I'm really excited for Stable Studio to see how they iterate. I'm excited for the open source community to continue to get new awesome projects and to see what engineers extend on this platform. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.